New at six, a neighbor's nasty yard fueling a feud on the block. Now our Ronnie Dahl is getting involved. She's talking, uh, taking action in Madison Heights tonight. Uh, Ronnie. Well, Stephen and Carolyn neighbors say that this problem is not only unsightly, it is smelly. And despite countless violations, the man with the untidy property hasn't changed his way. Tim Barb has the kind of yard many of us dream of. Lush, green, lined with vibrant flowers. But in the warm summer months, he can't sit outside and enjoy it. On certain days, when it's really hot out, you can smell it. I mean, if the wind's blowing out of the northwest, you can actually smell the cat urine all the way down here. The smell, he says, is coming from the house three doors down. Walking past, um, you get flies in your hair because they're just flying around his front yard because of the stench, the cat urine, the feces that's there. Neighbors have long complained about the unkempt house on Longfellow Street. Their neighbor, Richard Lastly, apparently has a big heart for cats, and that's creating chaos for them. How many cats have you guys trapped over the years? Over the years, in the past seven, eight years, I've caught almost 60 cats, feral cats. And then we started getting raccoons and possums and everything else because they're all coming to the food. Lastly, has been cited countless times over the years. He's been ticketed for everything from weeds to debris to rodents. Even went to jail one time for noncompliance. Nothing has brought the nuisance to an end. You have a lot of violations from the city, so... Do you I need help or <laughs> just a few violations? How many have gotten? Don't to, I don't want to be on film, all right? Okay. You don't want to talk on camera? No, I don't. But Lastly, I declining to explain his untidy ways, neighbors just want to enjoy their properties instead of worrying about rodents. My neighbor two doors down has caught 14 rats so far. So Lastly is scheduled back in court on this issue in November, or rather October. City officials are declining to comment, citing the ongoing case. Reporting live in Madison Heights, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News. Ooh, smells like, sounds like a smelly situation, huh? All right, Ronnie, thanks for staying on the 